Hello everyone, welcome to Pantam Guruji. So today in this video, I'm going to teach you how to do a molecular calculation in Metal Studio using Demo3, okay? So see, whatever calculation you can perform using Gaussian here also you can perform in the Metal Studio. You're having so many tools available. Gaussian is also one of them. But in case you are, you want to, like, Gaussian is got costly in terms of computational power and the time. So if you want to use the Demo3 for molecular calculation, and want to have free function and all different kind of thing properties you want to calculate i'll tell you how to do that first step is design your interest of molecule okay so i'll just design a small a six member ring over here okay i'll, I'll introduce hydrogens okay this is cyclohexane right This is the twist port form of cyclohexane. Okay. Suppose this is your interest of molecule. Fine. I chair form board for anything that it's okay, fine. But just for simplicity, I have just taken this molecule. Okay. Go to the demol uh, demol three menu, and here you go to the calculation. And in the calculation section, suppose see this molecule is not in the unit cell, not inside the unit cell, so. You have to go for the geometry optimization and here you choose find and choose the methodology here whatever you want to use if you want to use v3 lip you can go with v3 lip or you can use meta corrected gga or you can use simply gga or lda whatever the functional you want to use just check it okay and this is the dispersion correction ts correction is the dispersion correction we used there are two types of dispersion correction available for v3 lip one is the d uh, this grime another is the ts you can choose if your molecule requires this since we are having weak injection over here i'll go with the grimmel correction and other than that we don't have to put any charges okay in the more when you see since this is not inside unit cell so this menu will be not you know on sound here other than that it is fine electronic section you don't need to change anything basis that if you want to change anything you can go to the dnp plus you can change it basis file if you want to change you can go for 4.4 depending on you okay if you want to use solvation model suppose you are using some kind of solvent you can click on here okay and if you want to use some solvent you can click here and you can choose the solvent over here right from this cosmo method so here suppose you want to use some solvent you can select from here right now i'm using the gas phase okay no solvent as your value i'm not going to change anything orbital cutoff i'm taking fine solvent no solvent because i'm taking the gas phase everything i'm keeping is constant fine now in the uh, properties menu you can do the frequency calculation Fugui function and uh, orbital optics whatever you want you just click it okay once you have clicked all those things in the job menu you can give the number of cores you want to run in the power processing and the memory whatever you want to use see if you are running your calculations on parallel processor uh, your calculation will be more faster as compared to running calculation on just single core okay so just uh, i'll suggest always try to use this parallel processors okay and see generally if you are using parallel processor right now i'm giving 12 cores okay so uh, around it will be taking uh, uh, one gb of ram per core so i will give at least 12 gb of ram for this calculation okay i will dedicate so for the safe side i have given the play around 20 G, uh, gb of the ram for this and other than that you can uh, tick everything over here and click on the run okay once you are clicking on the run the calculation will start over here okay just cut it you can see that calculation will started here okay so it will take a couple of uh, like um, maybe 30 minutes or 25 minutes, some, some time will be taken and it will be done. Within the time it will be done. Okay. 